Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a free simulation account on the Jigsaw Day Trader software. So, like I just mentioned, this account is absolutely free. This is pretty good for, you know, testing out a new strategy, a new method, for essentially when you want to test out something and you don't want the order to be sent to the exchange with real live currency. This will allow you to test any strategies as you may need. And you can also implement this free simulated account into the Jigsaw Journalytics tool so you can analyze your new strategy and get some statistics about that. So if you aren't familiar with how to get to Journalytics, you can either go through your membership portal here and then simply click on the Journalytics tab or you can access it through the platform. I'll open up the platform in just a bit, so I'll show you where to get to it through the platform if you need to get through it that way. Either way, we can follow the guide now. So once you are in the Journalytics portal here, you want to come down to the bottom left hand corner of the page and click on tools. Scroll down just a bit and you'll see simulator account. This is where you can create as many simulator accounts as you like and manage them as you need, adjust their account balances, things of that nature. Please keep in mind that when you do create a simulator account, I would suggest to have your platform closed down. That way, when you reopen it back up, your simulated account will automatically be there. I've tried this before, and if the account or the excuse me, the platform is open when you attempt to do this, the account may not actually load until the next time you open up the platform. So save yourself some time and close it out now. So once you're in this simulator account list, all we need to do is head to the top right hand corner, click on create. First, we'll need to give ourselves an account name. You can name this whatever you want. Maybe you want to have an account, a simulator account tied to a particular instrument. So maybe we can name this gold account. Maybe you have something associated with this or, um, you know, a related currency or just a new strategy, something in that nature. Feel free to name this whatever you like at the end of the day. I'm going to name mine Optimus Futures just so we have a clear idea of the difference between our simulated account and our regular account. If you want, you can add a description. So again, you can name your account whatever you want. Then maybe down here, you'll say you're trading gold and silver. Or if you have a different strategy, you can put it here. From then on, you need to select a currency. Obviously, you're going to want to select whatever currency applies to you and your account. From there, you'll need to select the balance. So I'll put in $10,000. And then you can show right here whether you want LB or not displayed. Now from here, you can go ahead and click on create. This is going to create your free simulated paper trading account here. Of course, you have the option to show an LB, which is going to display your username in the leaderboard. I think if you click on this edit, this little pencil icon, there you go, and then click on create. This is going to allow you to be displayed in the leaderboard. Before I go into the platform, just to show you really quick, the leaderboard here pretty much stacks you up against other traders in their simulated accounts and how they've been doing within the platform. This is not necessary at all, but this is, you know, just a little competition between you and other jigsaw traders, as you can see. You can display on various accounts. You can, you know, search for specific members if you want. This is all within the community, so feel free to take part of it if you like. Before we move on now to the actual platform, just really quick, I do want to show you that if you want to delete this account for whatever reason, start over. Click on the little trash can icon towards the top right there. It'll ask you if you want to delete your account. Simply click on OK, and it'll get rid of it. But other than that, you're pretty much ready to go and you can now open this up in Jigsaw. So before we go on, I'm just going to open up the platform really quickly here. Let's just open up Jigsaw Day Trader here and wait for my launch trade to open up quickly. So again, in the meantime, while we load, you can edit any of the actions you have here using the pencil icon other, underneath the action toolbar. Again, you can change your account name, description, currency and balance here. You can remove your account and then with this account selected, you can use the journalytics tool as needed. Just make sure whenever it asks you for an account that you want to display, just choose your paper trading account. 
And what I mean by that here, you'll see we're on our day overview. You can see we have a couple accounts here. It does not look like our account has actually loaded up yet. This may be due to the fact that we haven't traded on it yet, but you would see the option here for that Optimus Future Simulator account. So my jigsaw is now opened up. Just to show you, let's open up a depth in sales or a dome. You see we have our standard account here. And then in the drop down menu, you, we have our Optimus Futures simulated account. This is the one we just created. Now we can go ahead, open up a symbol as needed. Click OK. And as you can see at the top of our dome here, just to get this out of the way, it does say Optimus Futures. That is the account that I just created. So we know, of course, that's what we're trading with. Even to open up trading settings here, as you can see, we have Optimus Futures displayed. Let's place a market order. Okay, our market order just went in and it looks like it got filled immediately. Let's check out our orders and positions window. Let's go to accounts. And there we have it. We can see our Optimus Futures account with $10,000 in currency, exactly how we created it before. We should be able to see which account this was associated with. Let's go to positions. As you can see, here is our account right here, Optimus Futures. You can see underneath the account tab, this is the order we just placed. And as you can see here, this does show you that you can place orders in your regular live account and place them in your simulated account at the same time. So that's something good to keep in mind. Just remember, again, this is going to be displayed under the account column. But other than that, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Very easy to do. Just pretty much go to the Jigsaw Journalytics trading tool. And before I forget, you can access the Journalytics tool directly from your little launch straight here. Simply hover over the J, the Journalytics icon right here. Left click, it'll open up in your internet browser, whatever you have saved as a default. And here we have it. So here is our Journalytics tool again. And now it looks like it's populated because we placed a trade. Select account, display Optimus Futures. This is our simulated account here. Click on refresh and it will show us any related statistics. Of course, this ju we just placed our trade in, so we don't have too much information to work off of. But again, just wanted to show you exactly how to create yourself a free paper trading account. If you do have any questions, please post them on our community forum. We're more than welcome to help you and support you over there. Other questions you can ask down in the comment section below. For more future trading tips, strategies, advice, podcasts, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.